Alrighty, hi everyone, Michael here. Uh, I'm here to uh, share with you a short meditation that I use uh, with my students and with my clients to help them activate their intuition and also find coherence in terms of their nervous systems. And this is a really great way to uh, start to develop a deeper capacity to access your own inner wisdom and to really learn how to trust your ability to discover information, to uh, communicate with your unconscious mind, to communicate with the collective unconscious around you, uh, to manifest in your life, to solve problems in your life. So uh, we'll get started here. And just to begin, you know, really just orient yourself to the space that you're in. And orient yourself to your body. How is the, uh, if you're sitting down, you know, what is the chair like? Is it soft? Is it hard? Notice the temperature of the air on your skin. Maybe the sensation of the clothing on your body. Whenever you're ready and if you're in a situation where you can close your eyes, just go ahead and allow your eyes to gently fall closed. And as your eyes fall closed, let your jaw drop. Really have like a jaw dropping moment with yourself. Maybe do a little face yoga, stretch your jaw down side to side and just let it hang loose just a little bit. And let your tongue weigh heavy at the bottom of your mouth. Like sort of like the tip of your tongue touching the back of your bottom front teeth, the back of your tongue, almost, you know, pulling it down, almost uh, maybe even touching the very top of your throat, just your tongue weighing heavy on the bottom of your mouth, jaw loose. That's right. Any thoughts you have or distractions, just take you right back, checking in as your jaw loose, is your tongue at the bottom of your mouth. And just begin to notice without trying to change anything, just notice your breathing. Is it shallow? Is it deep? Is there tension somewhere in your chest, in your gut? And just noticing what you notice in your body. Moving your awareness around. your arms, your legs, your fingers, your toes, your gut, your heart. Noticing what you notice inside. Beginning to naturally allow your breathing to slow down. Not trying to change your breathing or force it in any way. Just simply allowing your breathing to slow down, like maybe on the next exhale, adding a count to that exhale. Maybe your exhale is two counts, three counts. See if you can gently and naturally allow your exhale to slow down to be like four counts or five counts. Checking in with your jaw, is it loose? Your tongue, is it at the bottom of your mouth? And beginning to get the sense on your next inspiration that that breath is coming into your body through your heart space. Like maybe imagining a white light coming into your heart as you breathe in, or maybe not so much seeing it visually in your mind as you are just having the sense that you're breathing through your heart. Breathing in through your heart. Breathing out through your heart. Just gently let your breath sink up with your heart. And as 
you are, breathing in through your heart, any distractions bringing you right back to your breathing, checking in with your jaw as it loose, as your tongue weighing heavy at the bottom of your mouth, noticing what you notice in your body, your arms, your legs, noticing what's new and different, the sensations you're having, perhaps maybe you're having a tingling or feeling warmth or whatever it is that you're feeling, just noticing that as you move your awareness throughout your body, maybe imagining your arms and your legs is just hollow space that you can fill with your breathing and your awareness. Noticing what you notice in your body, your gut, your heart, your gut is made up of around a hundred million neurons. Your gut, you know, kind of lets you know, like when you have a feeling in your gut that you're really motivated by whatever it is that you're thinking about, right? When you feel something in your gut, you know that it's going to get traction in your life. Just noticing the sensations in your gut, breathing in, breathing out. Moving your awareness from your gut up to your heart. Your heart is where your identity lives. It's where your values live, right? When you feel something in your heart, like when your heart's really in something, that's right. You know something's for you when you feel that sensation in your chest. Noticing what you notice in your heart. You can use these sensations that you feel in your gut and your heart to help you tap into your intuition, right? When you feel something in your gut and you feel it in your heart and you're thinking about it, it's a good chance that's, that's, that's a path for you. That's a decision for you to make. You're in alignment with it. Just noticing what you notice. It's always nice if you'd like to take a moment to set an intention before we come back from this little mindful experience. Like, what feeling or sensation would you like to feel more of, experience more of in your life? And not so much trying to decide or think about what that might be, but just getting the sense, allowing that to flow in. And you might not even have a thought or a word for it, but you just notice what you notice in your body. Noticing those sensations that you'd like to feel more of. Sensations in your gut, your heart. Noticing what you notice in your arms, your legs. And knowing that when it comes to developing your intuition, when it comes to being more mindful in your life, effort counts. If you can just remember to, you know, when you're stressed out and, you know, maybe tomorrow, the next day, next week, you don't even have to go off and like meditate to really start to develop your intuitive pathways to help you move through challenging situations in your life. As much as you just need to remember, ah, oh, while I'm stressed out working on this thing, I'm just gonna loosen my jaw. I'm just gonna let my tongue weigh heavy. I'm gonna be conscious of my breathing. You can use any little technique that works for you. Walking down the street, you might just notice your jaw is tense and you can loosen it. You're actually telling your nervous system that you'd like to be relaxed and you're actually making room in your nervous system for intuition to flow up from your unconscious into your mind. And you start to get those insights, those inspirations, those aha moments. You can actually stimulate that through these exercises that we're practicing now or other exercises that you found help you out of meditation or hypnosis, mindfulness, any healing or spiritual or personal growth modality that works for you. Just beginning to feel solid in your body, feeling confident in your gut, smiling, that's right, throughout your body. Like, can you smile in your gut? Smile in your heart. 
feeling the chair you're sitting on, your feet on the floor, the temperature, the air around you. And whenever you're ready, opening your eyes, coming back into the room and knowing that your unconscious mind, which is most of who you are, is processing your experiences, is wiring your brain and your nervous system to be more intuitive, to be able to use intuition to benefit you in your life and to be more calm. Your nervous system is, uh, is actually listening to you. And so when you really start to change the way you use your nervous system, even just by dropping the jaw, dropping the tongue, which downregulate the fight, flight, or freeze states in our nervous system, you make room for new possibilities. You make room in your thought, in your unconscious. You start to notice more of what's possible in your life that you might not have been seeing before. So thank you for joining me. And uh, consider how might you integrate just little bits of maybe what I just taught you or what else you know about the nervous system, about finding more calm and relaxation in your life. How can you sprinkle that throughout your day? Can you put a little sticky note on your coffee pot that reminds you in the morning to take a minute to just quiet your mind? Can you put a little uh, reminder on your calendar at lunchtime to uh, take a short walk around the block to, through an action, move your life in new directions? So really take a moment just to think about how you can integrate new habits into your life. Thank you for joining me. Your effort counts whenever you meditate or whenever you work on yourself. And you are so much more than you could possibly imagine that you are.